All right. What I wanted to accomplish in this podcast is to show you what happens to KEQs when we start manipulating equilibrium equations. What happens when we add equations together? What happens when we reverse an equation? What happens when we multiply an equation by some coefficient? What does that do to the KEQ? All right. And these manipulations do show up on the AP exam, so they're definitely topics you want to feel comfortable with. They're not particularly hard, but again, you just want to make sure you can recall them, right? Because it's kind of hard to work everything out quickly. All right. So let's say that we have this first reaction. A plus B is in equilibrium with C. All right. And I've written A and B as the reactants and C as the product. All right. I know that KEQ, which I'm calling Y here, is equal to the concentration of C over A times B. Now, let's say we have a second equilibrium constant right, that I'm calling Z. This is for a second reaction all right, where I know that Z is equal to E over C times D. All right. Now, if we add these reactions together, all right, do we have an intermediate? C. All right. C will cancel out in the sum of the two reactions. All right. So we have A plus B plus C plus D in equilibrium with C plus E. That C is going to cancel out. Could we write a KEQ expression for this equation? All right. So we know that the KEQ would equal E over A times B times D. So C doesn't appear in this uh, KEQ expression for the sum of the two equations. But let's compare these to Y and Z. What do we notice about this KEQ? If we multiply Y and Z together, we get the KEQ expression that we just derived. Right? And so this is an important point. All right? If I add two equations together, the KEQ is the product of the individual KEQs. Can you guys remember that? This will show up. This is something you want to be able to do. It's not that hard to derive, but you know, if you're in the middle of a test, you don't necessarily want to take the time to derive it. You want to know it. All right. So that's why we did that. All right. Uh, so if two equations are added together, the KEQ is the product of the individual equilibrium constants. All right. I have seen from released AP chemistry exams multiple choice questions where they, they talk about this a lot. So I know it has appeared in the past. I don't know what they what the current test will be because we're not allowed to discuss it and I don't see all the released exams, but be, we want to be prepared. All right. So that's if we add them together. All right. Let's talk about what happens if we write a reaction backwards. All right. So we just looked at this equation. All right. We know that KEQ was equal to C over A times B. All right. If we have the reverse reaction, so we now write C as our reactant and equilibrium with A plus B. All right. The KEQ we get for this, shall we, we, I'll call it K prime, all right, equals A times B over C. All right. In other words, this is the inverse of what we saw before. All right. It's the reciprocal. It's 1 over Y. All right. So if you reverse the reaction, the KEQ will be the reciprocal of the previous KEQ. Is that too hard? Mm -hmm. All right. Where this gets tricky is when they start putting different manipulations together. All right. But if you know what each manipulation does, you can put the pieces together. All right. If a reaction is reversed, the new KEQ is the reciprocal of the original KEQ.
Is everyone satisfied with that? It makes sense? Mm -hmm. So some nice simple derivations actually can help drive these home. There's one other manipulation that I need to tell you about. Can I go on? Okay. Um, the other thing we can talk about is what if I scale the reaction up? All right. So if I multiply this equation through by 5, so if I have 5A plus 5B in equilibrium with 5C, can we write a new KEQ expression? All right. I'm going to call it K double prime. Okay. All right, so that would be C raised to the fifth power over A raised to the fifth power over B raised to the fifth power. How does this KEQ compare to the KEQ I would have written for the original reaction? It's to the fifth power, right? All right. So if you multiply the reaction by some coefficient, the new KEQ is the original KEQ raised to that power. It's not too bad, right? But if you've not seen these manipulations, they'd be really nasty things to throw at you on a test. All right. And these are manipulations you are expected as AP Chemistry students to be able to work with. Are we okay? Great. We'll stop here then. <laughs>